YouTube, this is Dave's Had Enough 187. This is a video to do with a video response to my buddy, Real Gamer 27. <laughs> the PS4 first party games are sport, ah, sparse this year compared to who? <laughs> Another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not attacking Real Gamer 27 but this is this something that I've been wanting to make a video about, but I just didn't have the right title. So I was like, oh man, I was like, Real Gamer did a video and I could just respond to that, you know. I didn't know how I wanted to put this in a title because this is something I actually want to, been talk that I actually want to talk about, I've been wanting to talk about. Because I hear a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of hypocritical, backward-ass bullshit going on in this community. And some of it is to do with the PS4. You know, how people sit there and attack the PS4 saying, Oh, well, what games do they have coming this year? Okay. So, they don't have the greatest lineup yet. E3 has not came yet. But let's judge by what's been going on this year so far, and let's compare it to the you know other two out of the big three. Because I'm uh, I'm uh, assuming uh, by his video the PS4 first party games are sparse this year, you know. And I'm like, compared to what? If you're comparing them to Nintendo and Microsoft, then it looks good <laughs> um, because they haven't had really shit this year and the PS4 was actually the only fucking console with games and I would assume that's why it's selling and that's why the Xbox One and PS4 are hardly selling I mean yeah the PS oh, ah, 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 the PS uh, the Xbox One and the Wii U are hardly selling I'm tired of doing this video but I gotta do the video <laughs> um, all right let's get down to it all right you got when I, when you when you go from the Wii U, okay, what is the Wii U had? You even said it in your own video. You said these are games you don't, you don't even give two shits about. You got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. You got fucking one you left out, Mario Mario and Donkey Kong Tipping Stars, which was bullshit. And you had uh, Mario Party 10. Oh man, I'm gonna run out and buy a Wii U. If I didn't have a Wii U and I saw that, you know, that those were the games that came out this year, man, fucking. You know, let me go fucking get a lemonade stand. Some, some, some of you guys gotta do to get video games. <laughs> you know, because half of you motherfuckers don't work. I'm not saying you real gamer or anybody. But I'm just talking about these fucking weirdos. Uh, so no, negative. Would not go get a Wii U for them games. Then we go on Microsoft's uh, side of things. Uh, you know, let's look what Microsoft got this year. What the fuck did they get this year? What? Tell me. Where is it? I'm waiting. I, um, did they, did they get Ori in the Blind Forest this year? But that's an indie game. Indie games don't count. You guys uh totally push some games off the side. They just don't count because the PS4 has indie games and it sells. <laughs> so those games can't count. So really, all you know, the Xbox One got was Ori in the Blind Forest, right? <laughs> I believe that's all they got this year so far, right? Okay, let's move to PS4. All right, PS4. Had got uh, the Order 1886, what everybody attacked. The first big exclusive this year, which was a great game, which I don't understand why so many people attacked it. The Witcher is another, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is a great game, but let me tell you this. In the beginning of that game, there's cutscenes that go on for fucking ever. And then you may walk down a fucking corridor, and then you're into another cutscene. I'm sorry. And when I go to the order, you had cutscenes. You walk down a little area, you get a cutscene, then you get gameplay. Kind of like what's going on with The Witcher, but The Witcher is a long ass game. And that's just in the beginning of The Witcher. It's all I played so far. I haven't really got a chance because of work and shit. But um, The Order was a short game, which you had gameplay, you had cutscenes, you know, and everything you guys bitch about quick time events. I haven't experienced any quick time events on The Witcher, but you had, you know, gameplay, cutscene gameplay you might walk down a little corridor cutscene but there's a lot of that shit going on in the witcher but that's a great game right but the order got all kinds of hell because it had you know a lot of different you know cutscenes and stuff and i kind of know where david maddox was going with the whole thing with the uh, walking dead because the walking dead's kind of like a game where you choose things which you didn't do in the order um but it's like a lot of you know story you know which 
you know, the Order has, but it had gameplay in it too. The fucking Walking Dead has nothing but story, but you guys love those games. And same thing with uh, Life is Strange, but they're cheaper, so they're okay. You know, you don't want, if your games are 60 bucks, they have to have everything perfect. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too much fucking hypocritical ass, backwards ass bullshit going on in the site. Okay, The Order. Arguably, uh, could be a great game to some people. A lot of people hated it, but I think it got a lot of uh, it got attacked a lot because it was the first big exclusive from anybody this year that I can remember out of the big three. All right, then we're moving on to MLB the Show, which a lot of people like. Real gamers said bargain bin. I know, so I'm not a big baseball fan anymore. I used to be back in the day. I liked baseball. I used to like to play it and stuff. But uh, I'm sorry, MLB The Show, I see a ton of people on my fucking friends list playing that game. I don't know its sales, but I'm sure it did well. So you can't sit there and say, oh, it's bargain bin. Maybe to you, but to a lot of other people, it's actually a good game. And it looks fucking great. And it plays great, you know, from what I hear from other people. Old Dirty loves that game, you know. So let's just take those two games compared to what I said on Microsoft, Ori in the Blind Forest. And then you got fucking Wii U over there. With fucking um, uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, a kid's game. Uh, Mario and Donkey Kong Tipping Stars, a fucking kid's game. <laughs> then you got Mario Party 10, a fucking kid's game. Come on, guys. It may be a good game if you're drinking with friends. If you're fucking drunk, you might play it. <laughs> if you're that fucking, you know, out of your mind. <laughs> uh, but come on. Just those two games, The Order and MLB The Show, conquers the other shit, you know. I'm talking about games already out, shit that's on this year that we know that has come out this year. Not shit that they're saying, you know, how Microsoft's saying it's going to have their best E3, and, you know, it's going to be the best one ever. Okay, it's like all these other developers, like Nintendo's telling us we're getting Zelda, and then it's fucking canceled. And yes, PS4 canceled Uncharted, but they did deliver so far this year. The other two companies are not delivering at all. Then, another game I forgot to mention. Bloodborne that just fucking stomps everything. You know, just, that game alone just shits on the rest for Nintendo and Microsoft. Ori in the Blind Forest does not even compare to Bloodborne. So, let me ask you this. What would make me go out and buy an Xbox One or pick up that shit the Wii U again? If you're saying you wouldn't buy a PS4, real gamer, what would make me get an Xbox One that's so great? Oh, I'm supposed to think Halo 5's coming out? What if this shit's delayed? What if this shit's like Master Chief Collection doesn't even fucking work? I'm not, I'm not going by what these companies are saying's coming out, because they said Project Cars was coming out on the Wii U, and where is it? It's most likely canceled. So I'm not taking these developers' words of what they're saying's coming out. I'm taking their words for what, what I see with my own eyes that's sitting on the shelf at GameStop, Walmart, Best Buy. And right now, the PS4 has the better lineup for the year. Not from what it's coming, which what we think could be coming, or what a developer is going to tell us is coming, which are most likely going to line. It's not going to come. No. I want to see these games out. Like the same thing we see going on with Splatoon, you guys are getting a broken fucking game on the Wii U. And nobody's really raising hell about it like they should. If that was EA or Ubisoft doing that and giving the Wii U this big title that's supposed to be coming to the Wii U and they left out fucking matchmaking and a voice chat feature and, you know, in-game voice chat. They can do it. They did it with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And then I heard you guys were only getting like five fucking maps and they're going to rotate every so hour. What kind of shit is that? Does that scream, uh, this game was not ready and Nintendo just literally put out a game just to give you guys something because they're fucking, they don't have nothing to give. But then, but fucking Sony's actually giving you out fucking titles that are working. There was one thing you can't say about the order: the fucking game worked. One thing you can't say about Bloodborne: the fucking game worked. One thing you can't say about MLB the Show: the fucking game worked. All top quality games that have problems, I guess. Went, but when I'm looking at what you know, the other two consoles got. I don't really see, I see where I, you know, where my choice would be if I didn't have a PS4. That PS4 would be in my house if I had to judge by what we got so far this year. You could say what's coming, it's going to be the best E3 for Microsoft. They're saying it's going to be, it's all bullshit. All these companies lie to you. I go buy now what I see on the shelf, 
and that's it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and judge and listen to some company that's telling me some games coming out. When I, I'll see it, I'll believe it when I see it. And what I'm seeing with Splatoon so far is not looking good, guys. You know, and that's your big game. And, you know, you just went through a huge fucking drought with the Wii U. One thing we can say about the PS4, there's no drought going on. They got exclusives, may not be that many, but when you look at the other ones, what the fuck have they been getting? PS4 at least got, sh and you got indie games, which you guys don't count, so I guess we can't count Ori in the Blind Forest, so Microsoft didn't get shit this year. Because everything that literally is on the Xbox One, I can get on another console. I'm talking about games you can only get on the PS4, Xbox One, Wii U. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> You know, I just I just want to say I got a kick out of your video, man. I'm not attacking you by any means. This is a this is like a video going out to a bunch of people. This is just, I just responded to your video because I just want to you know kind of you know say what I've been wanting to say, but it's to do with a video I've been wanting to make, and you just gave me the perfect opportunity to make it. And I just want to see what you guys think. Am, am I fucking out of my mind? You know, and he asked why the PS4 isn't selling. So if you're judging by games this year of what came out, I would go with the PS4 if I didn't have it. Sure as hell wouldn't be the Wii U. I'm not five years old no more. I'm not wanting to play Kirby. Never wanted to play Kirby even when I was fucking five. <laughs> I never wanted to. The game's fucking garbage. I don't know why they made Kirby. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I looked at that game. It's not even a. It's not even appealing to you when you're a kid. At least Mario looked cool. You know. I'm sorry. Donkey Kong even looked cool. At least he was doing stuff. I'm not. I don't care about a little guy that walks around as a bubble. You know, and fucking swallows things. I could care less. You know, and any grown man that's looking, that wanted to play, or has Kirby sitting in their house, you need your fucking head examined. <laughs> uh, you know, like the one dude on Black Bond's video, he's 34 years old. That guy should be ashamed of himself, you know, going on about, you know, how old are you, Splatoon? I mean, come on, let's get real, guys. It looks like a fucking game a, a fucking kid wants playing. Kids nowadays don't even want to play that. They want to play adult games, like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. Kids don't even want to play this garbage, Splatoon. So, yep. I just want to touch on a, a few different things in this video about your broken Splatoon. I'm not making a video about Splatoon. I just figured I'd mention it. I think it's funny they're only getting like five, you know, five different maps, you know, at first. But that's all, all this shit's accepted. No voice chat, you know, uh, what else weren't they getting? Uh, matchmaking, you can't team up with your friends. Um, but, you know, supposedly PS4 has the horrible lineup with all games that fucking work and shit. You know, one thing, you know, PS4 does got, they got the better third party. So, if I was to judge even just on third party, I'm going to go where the better third party is. It's like I said in other videos, guys, do you want DVD or do you want Blu-ray? I'm going with Blu-ray. I don't want DVD quality. I want my games to look good. And if I want them to look a lot better, of course, you go to PC, but I'm sure they got their problems. I'm a console gamer. Eventually, I want to try PC, but I grew up on consoles. That's what I like. And I'm going to go where the better stuff is on consoles. And right now, unfortunately, you know, some people are not going to want to admit this, but the PS4 is the top dog, you know. Uh, last generation was uh, the 360. Um, you know, the generation for that, I like the original Xbox. The PS2 was the top dog, but I like the original Xbox, you know. And that could be argued because they had the better online, you know. But this generation... Both the Xbox One and PS4, they have about the same online, but when it goes to, like, what games, you know, they play the same or whatever, but looking better, frame rates and all that, is the PS4 version. I'm sorry, you know, and it's funny that these guys just want to play a deaf ear and believe this DirectX 12 is going to change things. No, the PS4 is a more powerful system. The Xbox One is a good system. I played it. It's just their interface is garbage. Um, it's basically a console that's like a, basically a, for your TV and second, a gaming machine. PS4 is a straight up gaming machine, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> you know, and the Wii U is a gaming machine, but it has no games, you know, so it is what it is. It's games for not anybody wants to really play, you know, when people said it don't have no games, it's games nobody cares about, you know, just saying. Well... Tell me in the comments section. I know this video went, you know, longer than I wanted it to. Um, I got uh, videos to come, but I can only do two today. Been busy at work, like I said. But tell me in the comments section what you think. Uh, am I crazy? Do I think, 
you know, the PS4, if you would go by this year, and, you know, there is, you could go by a list of what's coming, but I go by what's out, you know, so far, and what the fucking console has done this year, and I'm not taking developers' words of games came out, because we've seen how they're just getting canceled, a lot of these games we thought, like Zelda, Uncharted 4, um, what, what else got, Quantum Break, you know, a lot of these games are getting canceled, so I won't be surprised if the Master Chief you know, uh, I mean, not Master Chief Collection, uh, Halo 5 gets canceled, you know, not canceled, delayed, you know, a lot of these games get delayed, not canceled, I don't know why I say it's canceled, like I said, I'm tired of making this video, but I'm not reshooting it, it is what it is, I do it like I always do it, one take, sometimes I'll redo the videos and stuff, but tonight I'm not doing it, this video's going, you get my point, <laughs> this is a response to Real Gamer 27 his video will be in the description, shout out to you, buddy, um, not an attack at all, it's just a video I've been wanting to make, and trying to help you out with what you're trying to figure out in your video. <laughs> Alright, later guys.